Not a bad day. Otherwise, it's not too bad. What is this guy do doing? Is he going to the farm? I think he is. Hey, JCB, I pay you any money that's for the load up. That's good timing. First time I've been here as well. Good timing. I might be able to sort this out before George even knows it's going on. Let's go have a quick chat with him. Is George in? Maybe he is. <laughs> He's down there. I'll sort this out now, George. Ari and Boyd, I just saw you both bought. Good timing, that is. Yeah, it really is. I'll sort it and I'll come to you in a sec. All right, then. Right, this definitely is the guy that's coming to look at the load all anyway, so that's good news. And I told him just to follow me down and I'll show him pretty much where it's stayed this whole time. It's easier for him to come straight down, I guess. Um, probably best way, yeah, take him down here, that'll be the best way. Oh, I've got the muck spreader in the way as well, so I probably want to move that for him. Tell you what, I'll pull up here and I'll just let him know I'm gonna move this. It'll be easier. He ain't got lost already, has he? Yeah, he's coming down here. Yeah, wait there. Two seconds. I'm just gonna move something. Oh, well that's that done. It's a good start to the day. Looks like George, in all fairness, did sort it out. Let's hope he can fix it. Yep. Drop the JCB as well. Definitely paying more for that though, isn't he? Uh, he's not going to be happy about that. Come on. Come on, girl. Definitely feels that mud. That is... At some point, we're going to have to put some gravel down in them places. Uh, kind of building up around the gates. Two spots, mainly, that need work. I'm sure we'll get to it. There's proper loads to do. It really is. Can't really do much, though, with it being December now. Kind of made things a little bit difficult. We've done the fields, we've set them up now. So really, there's no, yeah, just waiting now. A lot of setting up, a lot of planning as well. We've got to figure out what George wants to do. And when it comes to animals, does he want to get any more? I don't even know. Let's go see what he's doing down here. Looks like he's living the dream. Probably deserves it. He's had a rough few days, George has, with Tim being around and everything. Didn't go down a treat for him. Hey up, George. How are you getting on? Oh, I'm all right, bud. Happy as Larry today. Nice steady day. I can tell that. What's that there? Sausage roll? Well, oh, sausage roll. Uh, mine, that is. What do you even think about it? <laughs> all right, then. I guess you didn't get me one, then. I didn't. Bloody didn't, know. Right then. So what's your plan of attack today? Well, I'm just chilling today. Scroft, I decided to have a me day. Don't I get enough me days? <laughs> uh, what's that noise supposed to mean? Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm just going to let you be on your me day. Bloody hell. I'll be honest. I wish I could have a me day. You can have a me day whenever you want, but don't expect me to pay you. But, yeah, well there you go then. That's what I can't have many, can I? Oh, uh, well, anyway, don't bother me. I'm relaxed. You'll scare the fish. I don't want to do that, do I? I don't want to do that. Nice spot, though. Oh, it bloody is. Tell you what. It's been a rough few days, Scroft. Been up and down, I have. Feeling bloody emotional here and there. Everything's been winding me up. So I thought I'd just take it back today. Chill, relax, do a bit of fishing. Yeah, I don't blame you, George. It's nice to see that, to be honest, because... Some of the stuff, it's isn't worth getting wound up about, is it? Well, I know that, but bloody hell, can you believe it? That Tim guy. <sighs> Don't like him, Scroft. No, I aren't too keen on him as well, George. Well, we need to keep an eye on him. Yeah, well, if he does, you know, if he does come round and wants to do a spot check, 
whatever he was on about. We'll be alright. We're doing nothing wrong, are we? Not as I know of. I mean, I've checked and we're pretty much down to the T. Nothing, absolutely nothing we're doing wrong. That being said, though, if we do get more animals, there's more things we need to think about when it comes to that kind of stuff, but it should be fine. I mean, I do want to get animals, especially more of them, at some point, but I think for now we'll have to stick to cows. I know we're going to get more cows soon, but if we do branch out, you know, like sheep or oat, or what you were on about, pigs, then we're going to have to look at that kind of stuff, because there is some different regulations in place for that. Yeah, right, and well, we can figure it out, can't we? We can sit down and sort that out. Oh, we will. We'll take it steady today, George, yeah? Just chill out. Ah, I am doing. Don't you worry about that. What's your plan? Well, I've been busy as hell, George, up at my plot. I know you have, I remember you saying you at least don't like digger, didn't you? Yeah, I bloody did as well. Oh, my God. Blisters on my hands as well from removing all that rubble and there's still loads left. Oh, uh, well, it'll all pay off in the end. I know, I know. So my plan is I've come down, check how things are going, feed the cows if the load all gets fixed. Might have a quick look at the Leyland as well, because it's been some time. Start coming up with a plan, because I know Mick gave me that list, into you? The things I need to sort out, and I think there's a few I can already do. It's just a few that are tricky, just because I don't know if I can get the parts, which is, I think, where Mick was having the problem. All right, and yeah, you may as well, as long as everything's all right on the farm. Everything's fine, George. A bit quiet at the moment. Done them two fields. Can't plant anything in, can't do any grass work. We haven't got any more animals yet, you know, we're just waiting, isn't it? We've got to do all the planning out. Ah, you know what it's like, though, end of year. I think we just take us steady, get settled in, come January. Yeah, we'll come, we'll sit down and have a plan. Definitely going to get more cows, though. We can plan out what we're going to be doing in these fields. I know we said oats, but you never know, that might change. I'm happy to do oats still. Yeah, I'm happy to do oats. I think that's a good idea. We need straw, don't we? Something simple. A bit late now, plant anything else when it comes to, you know, wheat, barley, anything that's going to give us straw. Oh, no, oh. Yeah, I'm happy plant oats, we can stick to that. But grass, you know, grass work, all that kind of stuff, planning out what we're going to do with the animals. We'll, we'll, we'll sit down and sort it. Let, let the year go by. Hey, new year, new start, all that kind of stuff. All ah, right, and George. Sounds like a plan. Well, while I've got you, can we sit and just quickly have a chat about my pay? Ah, go on then, I did promise you. Bloody hell, that was easy. I thought you were going to say no. No, no, I expected this, to be honest, but you didn't come to me, so it's on your prerogative, isn't it, really, to ask me? Yeah, that is true. Well, come on then, sell your case. <laughs> sell me case? Bloody hell, put me on the spot now, George. Uh, right, um, where do I start? Oh, see, see I, thought you said it was a, I thought you said it was something that you definitely needed. You haven't got it weighed up already, have you? You don't even know what you want. No, I do. Just give me a second. Let me let me think about this. You've put me on the spot. Right, Em. Yeah, I ain't got all day. You ain't got all day? It looks to me like you got all the day. I told you, it's a me day. That don't mean me talking to you all day, does it? The sooner you bugger off, the sooner I'm in my perfect place. The place of peace and quiet and tranquility. Nature. Everything you can think of. Just not your whining. Don't know what your whining in me is. Right then. Bloody hell, fire. Well, come on then, spit it out. L right, well, just listen then. I'm listening. So, let's talk about what you pay me now. This was set, obviously, when we were at Carmston. I get 450 a week from you. And in that was, I had accommodation in one of the houses you were, gonna, you were supposed to lease out, but I was living in it. I had to pay for my own electricity, all that kind of utility bills, but I still didn't have to pay rent, mortgage, you know. It was pretty decent, because you threw that in. Well, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. Honestly, George, I did too. 450 a week, and having somewhere I live, I couldn't complain. But now, we're at Bigger Farm, you want me to do more work, which I'm happy to do, but I haven't got anywhere I live on here, and I've got my own place now, my own mortgage. So it's kind of important that I think we, you know, make it a bit more fair. Because I want to stay on. I want to stay on as long as possible. Because I, I love working for you, mate. I have a good laugh. You know, it is a good crack. And I enjoy the job. I enjoy everything about it. Right, well, that's good to you. So, yeah, I basically just want more a week. 
take into account that I've got my own place, own mortgage now, and so on. So what do you think? All right, then. Just as simple as that. All right, then. Oh, all right, then. What do you want? Pay me six fifty a week, and I'll do all the farm work that you want. I'll come here every day. And let me borrow any piece of kit I want if I need to do something on my plot. If it's farming related, doing some field work, whatever it is, let me out. Let me, you know, have the chance to borrow something if I need it. Six fifty a week, and you let me borrow things if I need it. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll pay you six fifty a week. I'm happy with that, that's not bad. It's a fair price for what you do. I'll let you borrow stuff, but on one condition. If it breaks, whilst you've got it off this farm, you pay for it. And I mean you fully pay for it out of your own pocket to get it repaired. Uh, I think that's fair. Fine, fine, that's a fair deal. There you go, shake on it then. Right then. There we go. 6 50 a week. And uh, I can borrow stuff, but it goes wrong down to me to fix. Well, that, I like it. Right, you're going to leave me now then? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> well, that was easy, wasn't it? Well, do you know it was? Ah, I told you it'd be easy. You never said that. You didn't even want to talk about it. I, actually, I didn't want to talk about it. You just didn't come to me. Yeah, you're probably right, actually, did I? I just got sidetracked. So much was going on. Bloody Tim and all that stuff. Oh, bloody don't want to say his name right. I'm chilling out, Scroft. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, before you go, tell me about your plot. Come on, you haven't told me much about it. You'll have to come see it, George. I will when something's happened. Not much has happened. Well, uh, I've knocked down all that fence I was going to do. The what? Yeah, that's down now. Them two buildings I've got on there, they're just battered, mate. So they're coming down. One's down. That's why I hired out that digger. And I've got, like, a pile of rubble. But it's down. The other one's still up. Um, my plan is to put a field in, basically. Oh, that's all right then. What are you doing with your money? Money? What the hell? I don't want to start with me on the money. No, come on, because I know you had it all weighed up. Well, how's it working out? Um. Well, you know, I took about forty grand with me from Carmston. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I used thirty grand of that, put down a deposit on the mortgage the, the land was only 80 grand but I took out 100 grand mortgage I used 20 grand of that to pay my old field off so that's all cleared oh, that's all right and she cleared it all off yeah but I've obviously got 100 grand mortgage now um, and I had about just under 10 grand left in my pocket spent a little bit now obviously leasing out this digger um, but yeah so you know it's not too bad is it really oh, that's all right you've got your own piece of land you've got a caravan yeah, I know, ah, uh, that was something else as well. Oh, well, you're doing right. You, what have you got left? You, you're all right, though, aren't you? I am all right, and I'll be better off now. Now you get paying me that. It's just I had 10 grand left, really. I've spent a little bit leasing out that digger and obviously bought that caravan, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm short now, let's put it that way, but I'm hoping get this crop in on my field, get the field sorted out and all that, and I'll be all right, I'll be all right. And the money has gone up now from you. I'll be able to pay my mortgage. Easy. Everything's fine. Well, there you go, then. That's all right. That's all I want to hear. I just want to make sure you're all right, you know. I know I'll give you a bit of grief, and you give me a bit of grief, but I want to make sure you're on your feet. And if you need any help, you know, don't hesitate. Come ask me. I know that, George. I know, mate. I don't want to, though. You know that. It's about pride, isn't it? Standing on your own two feet, like you said. But I appreciate that you're there, just in case. All right, then. Anyway... Go check how that guy's getting on, you know, make sure everything's all right, you know, and if you need to get off early, sort something out, you know, I know you've been working on, then head off. Nice one, George. Um, I'm going to take the plough with me then, just, uh, if I do head off, I may as well, you know, start ploughing that field in, I guess. All right then, no worries. All right, and I'll, I'll leave you to it, George, enjoy your sausage roll and enjoy your fishing, bud, and remember... Don't eat the bloody fish. I don't want you food poisoning again. <laughs> no, me neither. See you later, buddy. See you, George. That's alright then, isn't it? He's, 
a happy chap today. It's nice to see, though, sometimes, you know. He gets a bit stressed out, George does, but he's all right deep down. We'll just hop over that. We do need the plough, but I'm not going to do that first. Has he moved them stickers? He hasn't moved them stickers. He's still on the bloody wall. Yeah, we're not going to do that first. I did clean off the massy. That's job done, because that got a bit muddy, didn't it, after me cultivating them fields. Um, but yeah, we need to get the plough, definitely. So I could just go park it up, but I want to check on Leyland as well. Definitely. Check on cows, see how they are for feed. I can't even remember where we put the plow. Honestly, can't. I'll tell you what, I'll park this here and have a quick look. Can't be too far away, can it? Hmm. Where did we put that? That is a good question. Now, that is a good sign. That is a cracking sign. He's got it running. Now, that's good news. I'll leave him to it. He said he shouldn't be long now. <laughs> George will be happy with that. George will be definitely happy with that. Right, let's have a quick look at these. They look all right. Yeah, might need mucking out a bit, but it's not too bad yet, is it? Yeah, there's a bit of feeding. It's not much, but there is a bit. So I'm happy with the cows, definitely. I mean, we could put another silage bale in, but... Really, we need that load all when you pick a bale up. I don't want to rush him. He's doing well already. Um, I did find the plough. It's just there, so that's good. We can run off with that when needed. Let's have a quick look at Leyland for a bit. Tell you what, I do want to get this up and running again. I really do. Oh, man. Job and half, that is, though. Job and half. I'll tell you what, I'll get cracking with this. Got a list, I may as well start working through the things I can fix. And I did get some parts for that. It's the ones that aren't generic, really. It's them, them ones we can't really fix. I'm going to have to find the parts of them, but we can do the other things. So let's start with that kind of stuff, eh? Yeah, honestly, it's dead easy, mate. You, you can't miss him. Just go where where you parked up. And we were speaking at the start when you first pulled onto the farm. Just down there is a pond. You'll see him sitting on a chair. He's just there. Go tell him. He'll be over the moon with that. All right, um, see you later, pal. Oh, that's good news. And he's got it sorted. I did see I turned around and he was bombing up and down in the load all. So, got it fixed. Anyway, what was I doing? Um, what? What is that there? I keep seeing that. There's something behind there, you know. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. I'm intrigued to know what it is. Let's have a look round here. Bloody tractor. No way. Some rubbish behind here, though, isn't there? George is going to be over the moon with that. It probably doesn't run, though, does it? Surely. Surely it doesn't run. It's been here the whole time. It's got to be from the last owners. Let's have a, let's just sit in. Yeah, done. it's dead. Dead as a doornail. I mean, it's dead, proper dead, no juice in it at all. It doesn't look too bad inside. I mean, the paint on the outside looks a bit... Yeah, you can tell it's, like, bubbling. I bet that's been there for some time, you know. Nice tractor, though. Got a front loader for it as well. I've told George about that. You know what? I bet I could get that going. Bet any money I could. It's just another thing add to the list of things I can probably get going. But no, seriously, charge the charge the battery up on that. Get it out. 
Nobody will see what's wrong with it. In fact, let's go tell him. Should we really speak to this guy? And we're not mithering him as much, are we? <laughs> can't tell you how happy you've just made me. I mean, I expect to spend so much more than that. Bloody hell, fire. Nice one. No, 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 nice one. Yeah, yeah, let yourself out. Cheers for that, bud. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you for doing that. Nice one. See you later. See you later, mate. Good news then, George. Bloody brilliant news, bud. You don't believe it. That's just cost me hardly anything. Easy fix, he said. Bloody hell, fire. I'll call him again. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, it makes sense if it's cheap. Oh, cheap and bloody cheerful. The way you want it. George, one one thing for you. Oh, God, what now? Seriously, you'll like this. I like it? What is happening today? I might have to play the bloody lottery. Everything's falling into place. You're telling me you're going to tell me something that's good news? I think it's good news. What is it? Just let me show you. It's better to show you. Oh, bloody hell. It best be good if I'm getting up out of this chair. I've been in this chair for four hours. Well, you probably want to move then. Bloody hell. You'll seize up. Uh, seize up? I'm happy. I've got cushion and everything. Come on. Come with me. Bloody hell. For fire. Right then. Oh, you wait up. Come on. Stop faffing. Bloody faffing. I was happy I was in this little seat chilling out, fishing away. George, you'll be happy with this. Just come on. Hurry up. Go on, you go first. Alright, I'm only on fire. Alright, where are you taking me? Near the back of the shed. Back of the shed? There's loads of bloody sheds. Which one's that? Just follow me, George. Come on. Bloody Arscroft, where are you bloody taking me? It's like the start of an horror scene. No, it's not. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> What do you think of that? What do I think of... Bloody hell, fire is that a Massey Ferguson? It is, on our farm. Who's bloody left that there? Bloody... Where, man? You think it was the last people? I do, yeah, I think they left it. Are you joking me? Let's have a quick look at that. Well, watch out. I'm a bit muddy and there's loads of rubbish down here. I don't care, I want to have a look. Well, come on then, I'm behind you. It's a 390T. Bloody hell, fire scroff, it's a 390T. On our farm, just sitting here, wasting away. What a bloody shame. Uh, and there's a front loader for it. Exactly what I was thinking, George. Bloody hell, we need to get that out. Have you tried to start it? The key's in. Key's in there, just sitting in there, and it's not that bad inside. But no, it doesn't start. It's like the battery's completely dead, George. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll ring them up. People who bought the farm off. I'll ask them about it. It might be something simple, you know. And they might want it back as well. Well, if it is simple, let's hope they don't. I bloody know I right, come and use that will front loader and all that. Well, if you can tell me what the problem is, George, I can get the batch changed out and I'll happily get that up and running for us. What the hell? I'm going to bloody play the lottery tonight. I'm telling you that. Tractor on the farm for nothing. We might be able to keep it. Load all fixed for cheap. I'm fishing. I'm happy. There's no problems. Bloody hell fire. I'm one of the best days I've ever had. <laughs> right, well, Get it sorted. Ring, ring them up. Find out what's wrong with it. If not, I'll get it out. And yeah, I'll ch I'll change the battery in it, and I'll see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. I'll get it up on that ramp. Ah, oh, what do you do that for, us, Croft? Because massy parts can get can get parts for that. It's not like your Leyland. We can get parts for that. I'm telling you, and I'll I'll pay for that. Ah, oh, buddy, will I love that? I love a massy. I do. Nearly as much as a Ford. <laughs> yeah, nearly. Well, not quite, but it's close. Bloody hell, Scroff, you've made me day there. Good spot, good spot. I was in the shed, trying to work on my island. I keep seeing something through there. 
Yeah, I just thought there's something behind there. Need to see that, I wouldn't have. Well done. Guess I best give him a call then, I'll go do that now. I'll, uh, I'll head back down, carry on, and I'll, uh, I'll give him a call. I'll let you know. Yeah, let me know, George. Right, well, everything's sorted, load all's fixed. I'm going to head back down mine, George, and start this ploughing. All right, then, bud. No worries. Enjoy the rest of your evening, mate. And you, mate. See you in a bit. See you, George. The hell, he's chipper today, isn't he? Right, we need to go get that plough. Let's get hooked up to that, and then we can head back. I don't think I've ever seen George this happy. He truly is having a good day. Patient driver behind me. They really have. They won't try hauling a plough. In fact, I think they might have a caravan behind them, so. <laughs> it's not really the uh, appropriate thing. I'll tell you what, we'll go through our entrance, not that way. Oh, he's there again, Tim is. Well, George isn't with me right now. It ruined his day that was straight away. Right. right, back at it. A lot going on, really. There's been a lot going on. It's a lot of work. Doesn't look like much, but I tell you what, doing this on my own is a lot of work. And I've leased out a digger, you can just see, taking out that building. I've got to take this other one out over here, but. more important now get the get the field down before we do that that one's not as bad but I still want to take it out and I have removed all the fence as well so not too bad I mean I'm on my third skip now on my third one you can see it's already getting full but now this nice little JCB this is does the job you can see it's gone definitely dropped down <laughs> Now, we do need to put a fence back up in this place because if we did keep some animals in here before that building was obviously acting like a bit of a fence, but with us knocking it down, we do need to get another fence in. Yeah, I'm still quite unsure what I'm going to do with the whole thing, is, you know, in, in general, but I mean, until I can actually make a field elsewhere apart from this, it's obviously going to take up a lot of space by just doing a field, and I think the most important thing is getting a field down so we can make some money. After that, it's a nice plot of land. We can build a nice little farm here if, you know, we're looking five years in the future or something. Who knows what we can do. But I think the most important thing, let's get a field done. Let's get this sorted out. I mean, I'm going to have to go probably around, give myself enough room here. We do want to try also maximise what we've got. We don't want to mess about here. All about making money. Got to make the money. Let's start about here. There we go. Try and do yourself a bit of a boundary. And then we can go from there. She's doing alright. She's doing alright. Bit of mud, so you want to watch out of that because I'm hoping the land will cope with it. But there's only one way to find out plow it out the way. Come on, come on, girl, come on. Have a look. Whoa, what me now? Why? I mean. I think that's all right. We've left enough space to the yeah, we've left enough space to their garden and their fence. We don't want to get too close. Just trying to think the best way to do this now. Probably make it a bit of a curved edge on this. Come on. And that can then just be an entrance directly into the field, which I think will work better. That's perfect. I like that. Got a few stones, but I doubt this has ever been used for arable or any kind of crop. 
So we're going to have to test this soil as well, see what it's like. It's probably going to need a bit of lime. If there is too many stones, we'll get removed because we best just do it properly. At least out what we need. I'm just happy that I'm earning more money now off George. That's going to help me out a lot. It really is. Why not? If we can just get the boundary done first. I think, you know, at that point, then we'll have a good idea, won't we? Of how big it is. And I prefer doing the curved corners, I think that's much better for us. It's not too bad, is it? It's already bigger than what we were doing before. Oh man, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I really am. Now I haven't dug these bushes out, so part of me thinks I should just go round them for this bit. Yeah, unfortunately, till I dig them out, there's quite a lot of work to do. That I mean, I can get, I can do it, but I'll go round for the meantime. Right, you know, and then we can expand it out after we've done a first cut, first first harvest day. Eh? We'll expand it out. And I do want to put a fence up here as well, just to separate it off from the farmer that's obviously in that field. Right. I'm happy with that. I think that's not too bad at all. Should we get the drone up? Just have a quick look at it. That's a good idea. You know, that isn't a bad size field at all. I mean, we could probably make more of it, obviously. But with me having that kind of uh, building work going on there, it's going to take some of that up. We could expand it out, couldn't we, really? But it's nice to leave a bit of space just in case we get anything we want to plonk down. But overall, that's not a bad shape. Not a bad field, really. I'm happy with that. Let's get it ploughed up properly. And... Yeah, we'll get the soil tested. We'll try and get figure out how many acres that is. It's uh, be good to know. Now that's turned out well. Look at that. <laughs> I am chuffed to bits with that. It's And we can make it even bigger. We really can. As soon as we move the digger out of the way, and obviously start knocking down that building, and 
you know, clear this area, we can make it come a bit more in on this side and probably just an extra, let's say two more plow widths in and then yeah, it'll be even better. But <laughs> it's so nice to actually see a field on the ground. We've done well, we've plowed it in. I am gonna take a few samples and we can send them off and find out what's going on with the soil. There is a few spots around the field where we've picked up quite a few stones. We've probably broke something up underneath, but it's not too bad. We can clear that out, but overall, look at that. It's a good size field, that is. I think this is turning out really nice now, this plot. I'm happy with that. I think George will be chuffed as well when he sees this. He might even tell me that oh, I've done a good job. Who knows? Tell you what, though, look at that view. Stunning, stunning. Yeah, it is a perfect time as well because the sun's probably starting to go down soon. I might get myself a takeaway for the evening, chill out now in the caravan, and put my feet up. It's been a good day. George has been happy as well, so that's always a good day. And uh, I think we've done pretty well. Quite a lot of progress. It does make a difference. Just got to decide now if we do the same as George and stick some oats in the ground or we'll try something different, but it's all about making money. And I'm probably going to put that money straight back in to this farm and try and build on from where we started. There's no point in me paying off that mortgage early. We'll just carry on with the repayments now that we've had a pay rise from George. I'll tell you this, things are starting to look much better. 